Recording is on. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everybody around the world. Uh, welcome to this first um, office hour uh, of ours for Google Summer of Code 2023. Big news is uh, the Jenkins project has been accepted as a mentoring organization for this year's Google Summer of Code. So we're very excited to start this new season with uh, uh, a lot of people interested, mentors, a full, a, a full team of uh, people that want to uh, start working together on this great adventure. Uh, first, a little presentation. So my name is Jean-Marc Meissen. Uh, I'm located in Brussels, Belgium. I speak normally French and I can speak a couple of other languages and I still want to, work, to know more about Indian culture. So I need to visit India one of these days because we have a lot of people from the Eastern hemisphere. So, uh, we, so we have also around the table, Elisa Tong. So Elisa, if you can present yourself. You're on mute. Trying desperately to unmute. Sorry, I was trying that unmute button. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Jenkins in GSOC. So I'm a, um, a long time Jenkins contributor. I've been with the project for during its Hudson Day. So it's been a while for me. And I love the community community that we are in, that we are building. So um, and I, I love and enjoy being part of the GSOC um, as one of the mentoring orgs and org admin. So welcome, glad to have you and hope you'll stick around. Right. And you're on the US West Coast. I yes, I am in Switch. California. Early morning for you. Yeah, eight o'clock now. Eight a.m. Great. Then we have another key player as admin role uh, as uh, org admin. Uh, we have Chris Stern, who is Hello. located. Where are you located? What are you doing? Who are you? Okay, so um, my name is Chris. I'm from Hong Kong. I can speak uh, Cantonese, uh, some Mandarin, and English. Uh, not much French. <laughs> sadly and uh i do software development at a consultancy and i mostly deal with web development these days so um in my spare time i like code <laughs> that's it and you I, i'm going to give a few so chris was uh participated to google summer of code some time ago yeah in 2019 and 2020 with uh, open astronomy. Right. And uh, he joined the Jenkins uh, project and got involved uh, for mentoring. And he was a mentor, mentor last year, as well as an org admin and quite active. And then we also have uh, Bruno, Bruno, who joined yeah. the org admin team. So go ahead. Yes, I'm an org admin team wannabe. I'm just looking at what's happening for the time being, not doing much, just observing. So um, I can talk French um, somehow because I live in France. I'll talk just a little bit of English and I'm not far from Jean-Marc, um, something like 200 miles from Jean-Marc's home. So we're almost neighbors when it comes to the world. Uh, I've been a recent, uh, I am a recent Jenkins contributor. Uh, earlier, I was working for another organization. So, uh, but I, I do like our community and I'm pretty happy to be a relation developer for Jenkins project. And yeah, I'm happy to see what you're going to build for Jenkins this year. So as John Mark said, I'm an org admin wannabe, but I'm also a potential mentor for one of our projects. We'll see that later on. Great. Thank you, Bruno. Uh, just a little word. Uh, I will retire so because I'm older than I look. And I will start a new page of my career. <laughs> and 
caring for other uh, projects. And so uh, we're preparing that the program. So I, I will hand over uh, a lot of my duties and I'll stay behind the curtain to make it work. In 2024, Bruno is probably going to get involved together with Chris. And so we'll have a strong team for next week. This said, uh, I'm not looking forward to retirement. I'm looking forward to a great Google Summer of Code 2023 uh, episode. I see a lot of interested uh, people. We're now 25 uh, uh, on this call. Thank you for joining. I know it's late, uh, even very late uh, in uh, the Eastern Hemisphere. Uh, thank you for the effort and very happy to see you, meet you or see you on, on the call. I see mentors, I see people whose name I've seen on the Gitter channel. Uh, so welcome, welcome everybody uh, here. And uh, we'll try to work together to make it a enjoyable adventure, a fun one, and especially one where everybody will learn something. Gold Summer of Code is, um, program that is competitive. So I want to say the things as they are. A lot of people are interested. Uh, it's a, a demanding program and we have only a limited capacity of mentoring. Uh, so we'll have to choose. And as difficult and painful that it can be, uh, we'll, we'll have to make decisions. The choices will be made uh, on a ranking based on the proposals that will, will work now in a coming couple of weeks. Uh, so you will work on a proposal for a project, you will submit it and the mentor team will rank that. Criterias are Basically, who has the highest likelihood to achieve the goals uh, of the project and to bring it to a successful completion uh, uh, in September? We can explain that uh, later. So there is work involved. Uh, you will have to work to get a strong proposal, trying to be the best uh, in there. And when you select it, if you select it, then the other part of the fun will start. So it's, as I said earlier, this is like climbing a mountain, a great adventure. You're going to see great things, but there's effort and sometimes you're going to say, why did I volunteer for that adventure? but you will be very happy once you achieve that. So we're there to help you. We want to make you as successful. And even if you're not selected, that you learn something from the experience that you can reuse uh, uh, afterwards. So this is why one of the, the things that we put in place is we're going to hold this meeting every week. It will be an open, a meeting. Uh, if there are no subjects, we can discuss football or cricket or whatever. Indian, the Indian attendees can try to explain me the cricket rules. I'll be more than happy to, to learn to learn that. But here we're mostly here uh, to discuss any question, uh, doubts related to Google Summer of Code with Jenkins with the projects. We'll try to cover as much as we can. Some of the questions will be uh, pushed to ad hoc meetings that probably at a certain point there will be dedicated meetings uh, to discuss uh, topics uh, around these, uh, these projects. This will always be there. So if, if you're lost, you don't know where to go, where to ask your questions, at least every Thursday at that time, 
uh, will be together. Um, deadline. So, I, as in life, you, you need their deadlines. You need to 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 keep them in mind and and uh, live with them. For this phase, your deadline. Talking now to uh, the contributors, the students, you will have to hand over to the latest for April fourth. Uh, your proposal, a document. So uh, there is a template um, that uh, that's available that you need to fill in, improve. That document will show that you understood the project, that you understand the subject matter, that you come with novel solutions or uh, something that's uh, uh, stand out. Uh, Pratam, I, I've seen your question. Uh, we're going to share that in the meeting notes, uh, the link. So the question from Pratam was to, uh, where is the link to that uh, document? So going back, you need to show in that document that you understood the project, that you know that you know what you're talking about. Well, yeah, don't laugh. There are sometimes surprises. Uh, that you come with novel ideas and that you show us and demonstrate us why you have better chances to succeed than your colleagues. Because you have already program experience, because you already uh, contributed to the Jenkins project, and so on and so on. We can help you. In and uh, guide you uh, for that. Second important point is that uh, based on our experience and based on the ways of open source, the, the main purpose of this whole exercise, beside having a nice line in, the, in, the, in somebody's resume, resume, is that we learn together how does open source work? How you contribute? What is the culture uh, in these kinds of things? And can be also helpful for your professional career. So the first important step that you're going to learn and will be quite frightening is that we will ask to make your proposals and your work documents available to everybody. One of the principles of open source is that everything is open. You share what you do, you, uh, you ask for opinion of others, we're working in public. That means that we'll ask you to make your, uh, your work document public, submit it to uh, the uh, the, the Jenkins community, and they will take the time to guide you, answer questions, clarify things that are not uh, obvious, uh, and uh, make you build a strong uh, proposal. And we'll help everybody equally. We don't want to, um, how do you say that in, in English, but we don't want to uh, favoriser, how do you say that in, in English, to, to give an advantage, unfair advantage to one or the other person. I'm sorry, I don't find the exact English word uh, for that. So we want to really help equally. That means that all our answers can be seen and read uh, by everybody. As I said already before, uh, I will not answer to direct questions and mentors should not do that uh, if there's no use to ping privately a mentor or an org admin uh, for having advice or things uh, like that ask it publicly everybody can hear it everybody can give his opinion on that cheating now 
you probably, if I remember well, my university uh, time, we were, we were told, so you not, may not cheat, you may not to look on, on what your, your, your neighbor is writing, this is called cheating. In open source, it's not called cheating. This is called cooperation. That means that you can get inspired by ideas of somebody else. But then you give the attribution so you don't steal the work of somebody else. You build on it and you respect the work that somebody else has done. So somebody who just copies work done by somebody else will get me or us upset and because it's seen, so we can see it. If you say this idea comes from that person and this is what I add or build or change uh, to that idea. This, this is an important culture. Uh, and this is the first step uh, uh, to, to learn uh, that, so working there. We'll, we'll work together. We'll, you're going to see how this all uh, evolves. It seems a little bit confusing. Um, here, my, my advice, I have gray hairs, so, so I've seen other things. Do that step early. It's frightening because uh, I, I know the feeling that most of you have and say, well, people are going to laugh me out. People are going to say, who am I to dare write something like that? I, I said, no, to the contrary, this humility and showing will help you to grow and will help people or, or will uh, allow other people to start helping you and to uh, 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 make the things better. Is that working uh, together? So try to make the step. If you have uh, difficulties with that or you don't know how to proceed, uh, just mention it, we can discuss it either in these meetings here, we, we can have, now today is a little bit difficult, but uh, uh, we can discuss that in one of the office hours and, and, and maybe later uh, around a glass of beer or a cup of coffee, uh, uh, discuss that. But this is a very important recommendation I want uh, to, uh, to make you. Start early working on your proposal ask for guidance and the best guidance can be given on material. So start the document and then ask people, can you review it? Did I understand it correctly? How can I improve? We'll stop there for a second. Are there questions? I don't have time to read the chat. Uh, there, are there questions? I don't see any questions in the chat, John Mark, but um, if any of our attendees, if you have questions, feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question too. Okay, I'll leave a couple of seconds, just raise your hand or interrupt. So, a lot of guidance, a lot of documentation is available on the Jenkins Google Summer of Code page. We're going to add the links to uh, uh, the meeting notes. Uh, if something is unclear, just uh, ask yeah, here on the Gitter channel or on the... No. Uh, somebody wanted to ask something. Yeah, so guys, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. It's Pratham, right? Yeah, hello. So, hello, I am Pratham and I am from India. And uh, I have a question that I, honestly, I'm really late in this project. But can you guys like, are you okay? And I am a newbie to the open source. Can you guide, like, guys guide me like how to is like optimal way to approach right now from start today? like. Okay, so yeah. uh, I'm going to rephrase your question. 
is yes. where do I start if I start yes, today? Yes, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of documentation uh, available on the site because this is a question that has been asked several times. Um, and okay. people have been preparing uh, since December. And I recommend that you listen uh, to a recording uh, that was done. Uh, we're going to uh, repeat the link to these recordings. So all meetings that we do are recorded because uh, it's night somewhere on the earth. So we want to give a chance yeah. to everybody cool. to listen to what we say. So in this meeting, uh, I we explained how to get prepared. Oh. Now, at this stage, um, two things that um, I recommend. Well, you're already a little late, but here the, we have one big month. Oh. Two things. You need to clearly understand what is the project idea? What is the problem it tries to solve? Uh, and start okay. to understand that. This is the first thing. But the okay. prerequisite for that, to understand it correctly, is mm -hmm. that you have an idea what the complete ecosystem is about. What is Jenkins? What does it do? Where is the... Where is the snout and where is the tail of this beat? Okay, okay. <laughs> and that you, that you know. So uh, we give several tips. The biggest tip I can I can give and and do it as quickly as you can is start your own Jenkins instance on your okay. laptop or on on uh, a virtual machine you have somewhere. Start I Jenkins. I already used Jenkins before a couple of times. Okay, yep. good. So yep. that you need to know enough. Well, okay, this, this is very good. That you have an idea, um, uh, what is an agent? What is a pipeline? What is the administrative console? How does it work? What is the purpose of it? Yeah, and I know the bits and pieces a little bit. Okay, yeah. and so that uh, you, uh, you can then dig in more precisely in the functional domain of the project that interests you. The third okay. point, once you have that, is that you need to understand how you're going to uh, solve the problem. So the technical side of it. So okay. what is the internal, how, what are the libraries involved? How's the code? Best way to do that is uh, this is what we recommend is that you submit some pull requests uh, so that you have okay. a good feeling how the process works how does the community work who's doing what okay. so okay. these are the principles okay hearing okay. you it gives Thank you a good Thank good start okay Go ahead. thank you so read the documentation Get acquainted and listen to the, the various previous uh, recording. Learn the basics of uh, Jenkins. Uh, run your own. If you have already experience, uh, that's that's OK. Or, or it's even better. Start digging into the functional aspect of the project that you're interested in. Fourth point is, uh, you, you don't see my fingers. I'm, I'm counting here. But lower. The fourth is start to understand how to contribute. So okay. uh, what is the code? Other questions? Hello, sir. Where I can get the leaky, oh, meeting links? Oh, oh. Uh, what links? The, the To the recordings? Yeah, yeah, recordings. I'm going to put them in the meeting notes. So uh, okay. are you already registered to the Gitter channel? Yes, I am there. OK, so there at least we'll drop a note with the link to the meeting notes and to the various okay. things. Yeah, and I'm go going also to do it on uh, the community uh, uh, server, uh, because there they're okay. sticky. They don't, you can search it uh, uh, much better. OK, that's good. 
Okay. Um, so we covered the purpose of the office hours. Answer any questions you have. Just checking the time. Well, okay, talked a little bit too much here. Um, some uh, explanation about the program. Uh, timeline, very important. We have time. We don't have excessive time. You'll need to concentrate. So you need to get to work uh, done and uh, uh, go ahead because the 4th of April is the last deadline. So it will be April 4th at about this time of the day. So it will be end of the day uh, in India. And you can start submitting a March 20. Making your proposal available for review, March 20 is already very late. April 3rd or April 2nd, this is too late. So make your document available for review internal uh, uh, as, as soon as possible. And people will be kind to you and will, will help because we want everybody to learn something from this experience. Okay. Uh, they, with all the notes uh, taking my my notes are scrolling above the am i audible uh, yes i'm hearing you go ahead yes i'm nitra and i'm also from india uh so i wanted to just ask i'm also a newbie actually into this open source contribution and i started uh, uh the contribution in the start of february okay uh, so my doubt was, uh, does the criteria of maximum contribution come into play while selecting the uh, contributors? It's a good question. It's not a hard criteria in the sense we're going to count how many contributions are there. Oh, he's missing one or she's missing one. Then No. Uh, what we want to see, and we're, we're going to compare uh, people is that first, does the candidate have experience? Does he know how it works? What's the principle? Did he already uh, 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 make proposal changes in, in code? Where, what is, what did he show or she show about her knowledge? I, I have problems with uh, the, so I'm sorry if I say uh, uh, he, Instead of she, Netra, I'm, that's, I, I that's apologize. That's not a problem, so that's not a I problem. I apologize. Yeah, okay. That's totally uh, okay. So um, we want to have to see how proficient or knowledgeable the person is. Now, with one or two uh, PRs, well, okay, we, we, we know, uh, okay, he knows the principle, he knows how to do a review, he knows how to do a rebase, uh, or you know the, the, the voca vocabulary of, of how that works. Uh, now, if you have had only time to do one, but it doesn't mean that you're out of the game, not at all. Okay. And you don't need to do 10 in order to be, to be start to be uh, looked at. It's complete set of uh, uh, criteria that will be used. Okay. Does so that answer suppose, your question? Uh, so for suppose if I choose a project and uh, should I uh, know all these skills required for the, for the project mentioned do, do, in the uh, project details? So the question is, do you need to have them beforehand? Yes, yeah, beforehand. No. Just show us or demonstrate that you either have them because you already did them or that you're able to learn them quickly because you already did this or that. It's a conversation you're going to do that. It's like an, an interview to be uh, hired. So you need to convince us. Yes. And, uh, and we're going to, to compare. So if you say, well, okay, I've, I've done 
my thesis on that subject or I did that as a hobby project. And here you can see uh, the, the details say that. And, and we're saying, well, okay, okay. this okay. lady or this person knows what, uh, what they're talking about. Uh, that, that. But on the other side, you can also come with a little experience and say, I want to learn. But I understood what needs to be done. I, I come with novel ideas. I come with my heart. And it, that's perfectly okay. Yes, sir. Or did I completely uh, confuse you? From my saying? No, it's okay. I understood. Yeah. Okay, right. Thank you. But we're, we're not counting the number of... Uh, contributions or pull requests or accepted one. No, but we're, it's important. Show what you have done. Show what you have done. So, uh -huh. Mark. We have two people entering. I think Elisa was first. Uh, so there's a question in the chat window that says, I'm a college student with some academic commitments too. Um, if I'm inactive for some time, does it hamper any chance or my chance? Uh, no, I, I wanted to do a stupid joke and say, no, that's it. No, I, I refrain doing stupid joke. <laughs> Let's be serious. Uh, no, it does not hamper. What is very important is that you say it clearly. And uh, when you, I, I now have experience, when you read a proposal, you get that feeling uh, very well. Uh, so things that are described expressed clearly for instance saying and there is a chapter uh, that covers uh, that in the proposal uh, is uh, these are uh, I don't remember uh, how it's uh, how it's called but you say uh, obviously I can spend or I'm able to spend as much time per week on the project and during this period and this period, I will not be available for, for and, and you can disclose the reason or not, but disclosing it is also always better and there can be reasons. I need to go visit my, my family or uh, I need, I, I'm taking vacations. Mentors have the same kind of problems uh, uh, or, or, or I need to get married or whatever. I need to go to somebody else's uh, marriage, they're, they're good reason say it up front the contract is that you're going to get uh, committed to 175 hours uh, of work and uh, the better you show us how are you going to use these hours and how you're going to cooperate uh, with the mentors uh, uh, the better it is and we want to say it up front, and we want to hear it uh, up front. Did I answer that question correctly? I don't know who asked that. Hi, John Mark. Uh, I'm Shreya. I'm from India. Uh, I asked that question. Thank you so much for answering. What I really wanted to ask was, like during the contribution period, if I'm, you know, not able to actively contribute for some small amount of uh, time because I've got my exams coming on. So, does that in any way hamper my chances? Like, no, no, a clear no. Say it up front. Say it into you, uh, during your application. And this is part, if you're selected, this will be part of the, uh, um, the, uh, the, uh, the way you organize the project with your mentors. It's perfectly okay. There are three months foreseen for the old project. And if necessary, we can foresee, we can go up to November if necessary to do that right but it needs right. to be Thank well you. organized and so and and a word is i'm i'm sorry if i i sound fatherly there exams go first okay right. Right. <laughs> your future you. life is more important than open source or or google summer of code and and keep 
uh, life work balance correct and, and will be my task to be careful that this is done. It's an exciting adventure. It's a one in a lifetime opportunity. I know it, but don't get killed or don't get in, in troubles because of that. So exams are important. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hanak. Are there other questions? They're good questions. I'm honorable, sir. Hi. So I'm sorry. I, I, I can try and say your name, but it goes too fast and butcher your name. I apologize for that. So go ahead with your question. Good evening, sir. I'm Harsh from India. Uh, I have I have looked into the Jenkins uh, projects repositories in the GitHub. Uh, I know the technologies, but uh, I'm unable to you know uh, uh, understand the large code bases. So can you guide me? How can I understand that? I don't understand it either. So you're looking at ten years worth of work done by a huge number of people uh, and some were very, very strong. So it's normal, completely normal. Uh, I use the analogy of climbing a mountain. And how do you climb a mountain? Step after step. And you explore and you understand a piece. Uh, of what you're looking at, and, you, and well, now I go into detail. But this is a methodology uh, to learn, uh, to learn harsh. And this is an important skill to learn because for open source, but also professionally, you will have to do that uh, very often. Now to go one step uh, further, and then I will left, leave the word to people that are more, uh, more on the technical side. Um, one of the techniques to understand how a piece of code works is first compile it, make it run. And then you start doing the ugly thing, you add print codes. I was here, I was there, uh, I did that. Try to use the debugger, follow the flow of the program. Oh, then it does this, that, okay, did that check. Then it does that. And so you observe like a scientist, what does it do? And so you, you understand the flow. Then you start changing it, just I do a little change. Oh yeah, okay, I understood this is the piece uh, that controls this uh, behavior. The third tip I would uh, give is uh, read the unit tests. Every piece of code, I hope that you have been taught that at school or, or so, but every piece of code that you, you provide has his set of tests to validate that it continues working as it's supposed to do. There's a lot of knowledge in these tests and try to understand. So, and I would even start looking at the test, altering it or, or adding the print screens or not the print screen, sorry about that, uh, the, the print LN or, or whatever in the tests. So I do this, I set up the tests. This is the result, show me the result that I have and doing it that way. Now I'm going already in, in details. I don't know if the more technical people have things to add. So first, is that a good start to answer you? And if somebody wants to add to that tip, he's welcome. I think it was Harsh who asked the question. Do you have answers? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, well, okay, at least I, I managed to say something useful to you. Is there somebody who wants to add something to this very interesting question? Okay. Hello. Well, okay, I was going to ask, let's take a few couple of questions. And then I, at a certain point, I'm going to stop the questions and push them for next week because I'd like to give 
uh, opportunity to start presenting a project in detail. So I had some somebody on the left side of my screen, doesn't help you, but somebody wanted to ask a question, said hello. Go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, I had some questions. Uh, first of all, for the uh, question of the large code bases, so I would also recommend that uh, you start with a small code bases and as you gradually gain experience, you then move on to larger code bases. So that's what I have experienced. That's so, a very good tip. Yeah. Uh, the next question that I wanted to ask is that, uh, do I have to uh, submit my proposal directly on the Gitter channel? so that uh, it could be reviewed? Uh, here, there are two policies. Uh, they're not policies, uh, two recommendations. Here, my choice for mentioning, so how does it work? I, I just, it, it's detailed in the document, but you create a Google Doc document because it's easy, can be easily shared and Google Summer of Code is sponsored by Google. Okay, let's let's use that as a tool. Okay, uh, but it works very well. So you create a document in the cloud and just give everybody the commenters rights so that people can add comments and review. And this technique is used tremendously all over open source. And so you get and this you control in sharing, explore uh, that sharing the, the knob on the, on the right. I didn't prepare it. I could have shown you how it works. Um, well, going to, okay, I was taking a little bit off balance uh, there, but there is a, a button on the right that says share. This is where you control who has access. And there you have also the possibility to get the link to the document, well formatted. So you copy that link and uh, you make that link available either on community.jenkins.io, there is the GSOC uh, channel uh, for, uh, available for that. That's where all the GSOC messages uh, are. Uh, and you say, please, uh, a GSOC proposal, please help me to review uh, this. And you post the link there. You can also do it in Gitter. Now, why do I recommend do it, uh, doing it in community? Uh, is this is more a bulletin board uh, or a forum format, which is much better than just a chat. Chat tends to scroll out and I, honestly, I, I don't go, I go maybe twice a day on Gitter and there are so many messages that already float uh, through. It gets very easily lost on Gitter. So the recommendation is do it on community.jenkins.io uh, in the GSOC channel and put the link there. And people can either create a thread around the document and uh, can find the link to your document there. Does that answer your question? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, may I ask some more questions? Yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, so if, uh, if we run I out of my... time, I'm, I'm just for everybody, I'm going to stop the meeting uh, in 15 minutes just to respect everybody's time. And I think in India and other countries over there, it's already very, very late uh, for you. Uh, uh, we'll be back uh, uh, next week and you can ask your questions uh, on the two uh, discussion. But I'm happy that there are questions, so go ahead. Sartak, is that the way your name is pronounced? Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, I was wondering that, uh, can I uh, submit three separate proposals? for three Good different question. projects with the organization. Good question. Yes. As long as there are good proposals, not junk proposals, spam, but I don't believe that people around the table here do uh, do that. But you can, can propose uh, any number of proposals 
Remember, it's a competition. We'll take only the best because we have only limited uh, mentoring. And you can even, if you're very strong, uh, propose a new idea. But this is a steep, a steep mountain to climb. But there, there is no objection for that. Just convince us that uh, you're the right person to uh, achieve this project and to bring it to a successful end. So, did I answer your question, yes. Satak? Yes, sir. Sir, and uh, one more thing. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to stop you here. Stop calling me, sir. You give me 10 years more. So you make me older than I am. So you can call me John Mark. Okay? Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Don't worry. Go ahead. So uh, my question was that uh, uh, I have been posting all my progress, like all my contributions and uh, all the things which I have learned on Twitter and LinkedIn. So can I yes. add that to my proposal? Yes, why not? Uh, just uh, be aware that some of the mentors that are going to review, uh, it might be lazy and might not always follow the link to your LinkedIn. So if you feel a contribution is particularly important in the scope of your proposal, uh, uh, copy the experience uh, 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 in your, your proposal or try to make it substantial. But don't assume that the people will go on your LinkedIn profile to read this particular presentation. Is that clear what I'm what I'm saying there? Sometimes? Did you under, did you understand that suggestion? Yes, sir. I partially understood it. Okay, so I'm going to rephrase it to be hundred percent sure. Uh, you can use links and in material that's available either on Twitter or on LinkedIn, but don't assume that people will read it. They will read your application document. This is what they're going to read. So be wise in the way you do it. But if you propose a document for review, the people are going to tell it uh, to you. Okay? Yes. Uh, one more thing, uh, can I directly add the code changes in my proposal? Like, for example, if I have already made the changes locally, so can I just put it in the proposal so the concerned mentor can uh, see? I have a problem to understand or see what is the case. Um, normally, a Google Summer of Code project is 175 hours work. So are you going to put the equivalent of that much work in your application document? But you could add code as an example of what you, do, you, you did. So I, I cannot answer to that question directly. Can you clarify it? Yes, so I just wanted to ask that, uh, can I submit a uh, related code which I have made for uh, that so that I can like but, give a gist of what I am trying to do? Here, show me. Create a document and ask to the people that are going to review, is this a good way to do it? Will this be a good proposal? Uh, or not. I, I cannot give you advice uh, without seeing uh, uh, precisely. I, I, yes. I feel that there is there are good reasons and that there are good uh, cases where that would be a would be strong. But on the other side, I fear that we're going off road. Yes, definitely. I'll uh, post about it on the community and uh, wait for the response. Uh, another question I had is that uh, you're going I, to be the winner of the most asked questions. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so uh, 
I just checked out the issues uh, section, the issues dot Jenkins dot io uh, uh, web page. So uh, basically, the issues I'm seeing here, uh, I haven't dealt with such an interface before. So uh, how can I find the repositories for uh, which I have to make the changes? For example, there are some links which I am able to follow, but in some issues there are no links attached. So that's what I wanted to ask. Yeah. Uh, I will, unless somebody else wants to jump uh, on that on that question here, uh, will not be able to answer that in this session. Um, uh, ask this particular question eventually with examples of the issue you want to, to solve uh, or get acquainted with. Uh, ask that either in the Gitter chat or on the on the uh, community uh, forum. Ask these specific questions there. Okay. And uh, my last question is that uh, I have been contributing to different organizations. So uh, before this, I uh, was contributing to the Jaeger uh, repository. Uh -huh. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't selected for Google Summer of Code. So I have to make a last minute switch for that. So mm -hmm. as, a, as soon as I uh, finish my contribute, contributions over there, I'll be jumping on here. So uh, I also don't have uh, much progress in the Jenkins uh, repository, but I do have some progress in other repositories. So can I add links for the other contributions which I have made out of the, outside the organization? Good. Good question. Here, what you're going to show with that is that you have already experience of the way, especially if it's a Java project or in, in the technology uh, that. So if you feel this is something that you want to share with the reviewers, uh, so the mentors that are going to rank the proposal, please add, add that. And every experience is useful. Um, you're the judge to, to know if it's uh, interesting or not. Now, don't forget that uh, people uh, here are focusing on Jenkins. There's a world, they have little knowledge of, well, I'm, I'm simplifying, but they have little knowledge of what's happening outside because they're convinced, or we are convinced that the earth is rotating around uh, Jenkins, as everybody knows. No, I'm joking, I'm exaggerating. But um, having contribution on another project is interesting, but will not be a uh, 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 this decisive criteria uh, to be selected. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> so you're, you're today's winner of the number of questions. We do that uh, every office hours uh, to say who asked the most questions. So definitely, uh, Sataki, you're, you're the winner of this session. Uh, we had a question from Thank you. Uh, on, the, on the Slack. Uh, uh, can I just ask a small question? Go ahead, Natra. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to ask what is the expected number of contributors around like how many are uh, expected to be selected, the number? Ah. Um, as many as we can doesn't answer your question. Based on experience and based on the mentorship capacity, uh, we have been dealing with between uh, four, uh, part, four uh, contributors uh, being selected to a maximum of six. So this gives you an idea. It, it, it will really uh, depend, but uh, um, I don't want to commit to any number. Uh, but uh, between three and six, six being really, uh, 
Here, uh, I want to be sure, or we want as an organization to be sure that if somebody is selected, that uh, he gets or she gets all the help and mentorship that this effort deserves. We, we really want it to be a success. So we're not going to accept a student if uh, we're not able to help him. Yes, okay. Now it gets scary, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Two things. Uh, just by participating to the competition, you will learn a lot. And you're welcome to propose again next year. So especially as there is no requirement that you're still studying that you're a student, young professionals can also uh, uh, contribute. So you can, you can try again. But even just participating to this month and a half of effort, you will already learn a lot about open source, about the community, and this will help you in your professional career. So it's worth doing it. And yes, of course. Yeah. A lot of people that were selected said, how come I have been selected? Who am I to be? No, it's, it's, it's worth competing. It's worth competing. I just want to make clear that it's not a walk in the park. There's work involved. There's an effort uh, involved uh, for that. OK? Yes. Great. Sorry, the camera is a little bit low, so you don't see my hand signals and my nonverbal uh, communication. Great. Uh, Adrian, I'm awfully sorry. I believe that presenting your project in the three minutes that I left <laughs> will not work. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not that good. Uh, yeah, it won't, it won't work. So and let, I, let's schedule that for our next week. Uh, right. Okay. Good. We'll we'll do the uh, uh, it during the office hours, and if there is interest, uh, I will suggest to uh, the lead mentors uh, uh, that eventually we organize separate meetings per project to dig into. What do you think of that idea, Adrian? I feel it, it's a very good idea, uh, respectful for everyone's time, because other mentors might want to have a dedicated time for their own project. So yeah, uh, definitely just having a, a um, small introduction of the project ideas during office hours, and then we can move on to a different meeting I, on a different schedule for more specific questions. That's Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do uh, that. I, I will talk to the different mentors and see how we can make it more respectful for everybody's time. Uh, and uh, so, But we'll keep this meeting. Next week, we'll have a one hour meeting again because there's many questions. We'll have a couple of uh, other mentors. I hope you will be able to join Adrian and the, the others uh, that were, were there. Uh, but we can answer and, and discuss the general questions, doubts you have. I'll be here the whole summer. So not maybe in this place because I may be traveling uh, at, at certain times, but this meeting will be held every week. It's a watering hole and just to be together. Uh, uh, hi, can I ask a small question? Go ahead, you have one minute. Right. So uh, I was wondering whether it's a good idea to mention that uh, for example, for example, some project uses a tech stack that I'm not very familiar with. For example, somebody mentioned Andorra. So is it a good idea to write in a proposal that I'll be dedicating this much time to, you know, learn and get used to that a tech stack and then work on the project? Yeah. Sure, it's, 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 a, it's a good idea. And here, the people that are going to review your proposals uh, are going to, to guide you or give you hints and say, oh, you mentioned that, maybe explain that better or more in details, what you mean with that and how that can uh, bring more color to your proposal and make it a strong proposal. 
Does that answer your question? Right, right. Thank you so much. Okay, good. Here, I'm sorry, I will not take any other questions. We can meet on the Gitter channel and on, uh, con uh, not conference, on uh, community. community. <laughs> on community, uh, people uh, are available there in different time zones. So continue asking questions. Questions were great. Uh, there were uh, super, super questions. Uh, I see a lot of enthusiasm, uh, a lot of uh, uh, very interesting people uh, interesting and interested uh, people. Uh, I'm super happy to have met you all, directly or indirectly. So welcome aboard, and we'll start a great journey together. Right here. Uh, so I'll so send out the recording to this uh, meeting uh, soon, as soon as the recording is available, so probably in a couple hours. And then I'll also add the notes. So next week's office hours, same bat channel, same day, same time. Great. Thank you for helping helping me, Alyssa, and covering me with all these, these things. We're, we're doing you a bet. great team uh, with that. OK, thank you with that. Thank you for everybody uh, joining. Well, I've been doing most of the talk. I'm, I'm sorry about <laughs> that. This is boring. But uh, here, we'll make it better than other time. Thank you all. Have a nice rest of the day or the night. Thank you for joining and Thank see you, you bye next bye. week. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you, Thank you Alisa. Bye. Bye. bye.